Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we are closing the day with uh, a lovely entrepreneur. An entrepreneur has come to inspire me in the last 30 minutes. <laughs> I've got Viru, the founder and CEO of Dalian. How are you? I'm very good. Nice to meet you, Vishal. And really, I mean, he's a dynamic person. He's built daily on to obviously more than how many view, views do you have? 19 billion, you said? Yeah. Last Give us one. some statistics. So uh, we'll throw some stats to you guys. Mm -hmm. We have about 250 million people who come on daily on a right. monthly basis. They spend, uh, they consume 19 billion page views. We have about 3 billion video views on a monthly basis. So a lot of India is coming on daily and reading a lot of news and local language. So content. India is addicted to content. Absolutely. Why is that? What kind of content? When we were young, what we had to go to the movie theaters. Yeah. So when we were young, we used to wait for the newspaper guy to throw <laughs> your newspaper in our balcony to read yes. that content, right? And then you got to go out to you got to tune into a hawa mat in the night at nine nine p.m. Yes. to hear what's happening. Correct. You know, or go to a movie. Now with mobile phones proliferating mm -hmm. the masses of India, mm -hmm. uh, you know you got content on your mobile phone, personalized content on mobile phones on the fly. Mm -hmm. And when you founded this in 2011, yeah. what is the hypothesis? So look, I mean the hypothesis from day one has been that you know India is primarily a non-English market. Mm -hmm. The uh, you know out of 1.3 billion people, only 100 million people speak you know mm -hmm. English. Rest all speak local language. Correct. And the idea was how do you get a lot of these guys online and make content relevant to them so yeah. the, the hypothesis was digital divide yeah. and make you know your product relevant to the masses of it at that time if you go back yeah you went you know let's talk about the big names you yes. know the publishers yes you know what did they say about this idea and even those blackberry and nokia yes. days if yes. you remember yes. right so i mean look at that point of time the first aha moment was that hey are you able to render a Hindi font on a mobile phone? Oh, yes. Because those phones only supported English because English is Unicode font. Mm. So, I mean, when you showed a local language font on a mobile phone mm -hmm. being rendered, that was an aha moment, right? And, and there was a lot of support from the ecosystem in terms of, you know, their content being a local language content, which is Hindi, Tamil, Malayalam, getting rendered on a mobile phone right. and coming online. Mm. So, if there was enough excitement. Obviously, it required a lot of education and evangelization. To get the ecosystem online, you you, can, you come from a you know telecom background. Yeah, that must have given you a sense of how users behave. Yes, yes. But when you go to these publishers, yes. were they a bit reluctant to say, should I come on board? Should I not come on board? Sure. The reason I ask you this is a lot of young people sure. build products. They sure. want to do sales. Sure. How do they win people on sure. on board their platform? Sure. How did you do it? So uh, look at the end of it. You know, when you are building a platform, right, where you are, you want to get initial traction and content creators. Mm -hmm. I think your pitch to those guys has to be very clear. What is the what is the value prop to the mm -hmm. publisher or content creator? Our pitch from day one is, hey, you got to do nothing. Mm -hmm. you, whatever your content is, whether it's a PDF or XML or Excel sheet, we will figure out a way to get that content on our platform. We'll distribute it. Mm -hmm. We'll monetize it. We'll give you additional traffic, additional monetization. We'll give you analytics to tell you what kind of content the new age people are consuming. Mm -hmm. So it's a win-win, you know, it, you know, mm -hmm. value prop to everybody in the ecosystem. And in, you know, the evolution of the tech stack for yeah. that has completely changed yes. from what you went 11. Yes. Probably now you're more algorithmic. Yes. There's more yes. RTB, obviously, yes. real time yes. bidding. Yes. Th that evolution happened over a period of time or was it in stages? So look, I mean, you know, what happened was the Android was evolving. The Correct. ecosystem was evolving. Correct. The content ecosystem was mm. evolving. The content formats were evolving. Mm. So in terms of, you know, our application, you know, we, we, we moved from you know, solving a problem of a font mm. to basically moving to 14 languages. Each language required a different tech stack to How be solved. How fast did that take? Yeah. So that took us about a year, year and a half, where we moved from two languages to 14 languages. Then going in, you know, creating a publisher ecosystem and onboarding all those people was a lot of legwork, mm. which we did to get them on board. Mm. Then, you know, moving to a personalized tech stack, where as the market was becoming big, mm. you need to make sure that this app, which your aunt uses, looks different from what yeah. your college going, you know, niece lo yes. looks at, or your friend Aaron looks at. The right? feed is different. The feed is different. Mm. It's purely customized, and that mm. required required heavy investment in machine learning algorithm mm. and infrastructure, and a great team to build it. Right? And the fact that today you allow people to come and do their own news, yeah. you want all of India. I mean, you, know, you curate them, of course. Yeah. They can become stringers. They can yeah. become storytellers. Yeah. Yeah. So you also make money for them. Yeah. That's what's happening. So, right? I, and, and that's exactly, mm -hmm. I think the I think the big value prop, uh, you know, our platform is, you know, 
we are a marketplace which matches content creators to the mm. users eventually mm. and the content creators get distribution and make money mm. today we have 2000 publishers 25000 professionally generated creators mm. and about close to 50000 stringers on our platform mm. which are giving us content and all of them give content of different sizes mm. formats and which solves different need mm. so there's a whole ecosystem getting created mm. where you know we are supporting the content creator ecosystem by you taking their content, distributing it, monetizing it, and flowing back money to them. You know, I want to bring, to create such a vast ecosystem, mm -hmm. it's all about processes. Yeah. You know, in 2011 when you started, maybe with two, three people, yeah. uh, I mean, yeah. that, I mean yeah. daily under yeah. the brand. Yeah. You know, processes would have not meant anything. Yeah. Now you have to handle 50,000 stringers. Yeah. yeah. What kind of processes do entrepreneurs have to set as they scale? They say from 0 to 100 is one yeah. pro problem, yeah. 100 to 300 is one yeah. problem, 300 to yeah. 900 is yeah. another problem. Yeah. So you want to tell us at each stage how you handle so these processes? Uh, I, think, I, I think personally to me the process is people. Mm -hmm. at, at different stages of evolution of the company, you get different kind of people in the company and they come and you know, solve problems of different scale. Uh, you know, and while you're doing this, you need to make sure that you're pretty nimble mm -hmm. and pretty agile. So that you know the innovation pipeline doesn't get you know screwed up in that sense. Mm. Uh, so eventually, you know, if you see the journey of the company, we had we have you know great people coming from small companies, mm. you know, great people coming from big companies, you know, great people coming from offline companies, online mm. companies. So the talent pool is pretty diverse mm. by, by which you are able to manage a large setup. And you know the innovation pipeline you said was very important. Yeah. You acquired one India, yeah. or at least yes. invested yes. in them at that time. Yes. Was that an important starting point in your in your company's yeah, career yeah. to become what it is today? So uh, absolutely, right? Absolutely, very much. And uh, and the reason we acquired and it was a big decision for us, mm -hmm. where you know you are acquiring a totally in that sense a non-coherent company, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we are primarily a tech and platform yes. company. They were primarily a content mm -hmm. company. Uh, but I think the business at that point of time demanded mm -hmm. the content, the local language content ecosystem was pretty nascent. Mm -hmm and all the content in digital format was around news. Mm -hmm. One India had content formats which were different from news, mm -hmm. which was, you know, gadgets, you know, gadgets, you know women, mm -hmm. sports in Hindi, Malayalam, Tamil, okay. and nine languages. Mm -hmm. And that worked very well for us. You know, when you go out now, you know, that was your first buy. Yeah. When you went out there, was it a professional reference or was mm -hmm. it something that you tracked and therefore you said, let me go get that company? Yeah, so look, I mean, uh, as a company, uh, and you know, uh, multiple mm. team members who are responsible for multiple things, mm. they track the opportunities which are happening in the, mm. in the economy. And, and we got to be opportunistic as well as, well, and those need to be relevant to us. Mm. Sometimes we miss, sometimes we get. Correct. Yeah. We do, do you have a team tracking startup? Like for example, you made an acquisition yeah. which you've announced yeah. today called Logo yeah. Play, yeah. Yeah. which is an important yeah. Tech stack yes, now yes. because it's going to be video for correct. you and local video. Correct, correct. How do you find these companies? Is it through a team or is it only you that looks at okay goes to startup you know startup events and picks yeah. them up? So basically, I mean you know this part of the job me and Umang do it together, right? Where you know we are plugged into the ecosystem uh, either through entrepreneurs or through VCs, and a lot of people also write to us individually through our LinkedIn connects or through our emails. Uh, and and you know and those mails comes to us we're responsive mm -hmm. and we engage and we and we give a very quick answer hey other way doing it or not doing it so mm -hmm. we don't keep people hanging right? okay if, if an entrepreneur has to contact you yeah uh, does it take you one minute to figure out does it work for you yeah. or not yeah so uh, I think one minute is too short okay you know I think it also depends on what all details has been given to us mm -hmm. but if he writes to us we make sure we respond to him okay. uh, we have a discussion around mm -hmm. it uh, and that was the case with local play. Mm -hmm. uh, Why did you acquire local play? I'm, I'm really curious. Sir. So basically, you know, if you look at the journey mm -hmm. of the company, right, and, and what's happened in India is with the explosion of data, mm -hmm. you have a lot many more people coming from tier 2, tier 3, tier 4 cities online. Mm -hmm. And when these people are coming online, the needs of content are very much different from people who came online, you know, two years back. Mm -hmm. uh, these people are coming online, they want to consume videos. Yes. They want to move through, you know, move away from the literacy barrier as such. And they want to consume content which is more relevant and local mm. around them. Mm. Now, you know, when we looked at this opportunity, which is that, you know, 200 to 300 million people over the next three to four years, we found that the content gaps are huge in this market, right. especially in the yeah. video format. Mm. And, and we said, okay, we got to solve this problem before, if mm. we got to grow there. 
and local play had built an interesting product and a software product mm. which made sure that the supply can be tapped in a very efficient way and and, and that's why we went and, and did and, this and you mentioned bharat uh, yeah. or you know the 400 million consumers yeah. and you gave me staggering numbers yeah. Yeah. you said that's an 800 billion yeah. dollar market yeah. that you know over a period of time yeah. they're going to spend that much yes. amount of money yes is that an annual number or yeah. is, so, is that a is that a 10 year period or <laughs> that's a lot of money yeah so look i mean uh, you know if you look at the tier 2 hmm. tier 3 tier 4 local language digital population is going to be about 400 million people okay. by 2023 hmm. each of these users at an average will have 2000 dollars as a spending power hmm. and i'm not talking about gdp Mm. right because india is growing at a 6 to 7% or 8% mm. gdp growth mm. and you know we are going to be what china was in 2014 right mm. and when these eight, and you multiply 400 million people by 2000 dollar gdp mm. 2000 dollar spending power not mm. gdp gdp is higher mm. you get a 800 billion dollar you know consumption market mm. and and this and you know advertisement would want to reach this kind of users okay, and, and a platform which engages with these users mm. and has time spent of mm. them is going to kind of have windfall in terms it's, of it's, ad dollars it's really brilliant because you know you you talked about india in the, you said the world can go through a recession but yeah. not india yeah. why do you say that uh, i mean i think the data is proving it right i mean you look at we got a stable government yes. we got a prime minister who is building india yeah. and his focus yes who says that there are only two castes in india garib, one is garibi aur jo garib hatana chahte hain right <laughs> so and look at and look at the amount of investment and things which are the the structural changes which have happened in india mm-hmm. through gst yeah. and so on so forth so and 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 at the same time you know success mm-hmm. is always relative you look at what's happening across the world mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so india is the india is a country to be in mm-hmm. there uh, you know we have got a large consuming population structural reforms coming in so the, It's the best so it's place all to bet. Uh, best place to bet. You know, yet our our ad spend digitally yeah. are so dismally low. Yeah. I mean, media businesses online tough yeah. to make money yeah. out of. Yeah. But that's going to change. Yes. So look, ad spend starts tipping off at a mm. point where your where the where the average spending power of a user mm. goes above seventeen hundred dollars or two thousand mm. dollars. Today, our population mm. is 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 busy in making the ends meet. Correct. They're not a consuming population. right now now as the country grows which it's growing mm. and it's not a hypothesis now it's a reality mm. you will see the consuming income and the you know disposable income going up mm. and that's the tipping point when this market is going to become the largest market in the world it's amazing that's that's when advertisers come on to digital platforms yes. and that's where your rtb platform yes. what what's it called ddalas ddalas yeah. yes. how is it picking up you want to talk about that a bit so ddalas is you know i mean it's one of the state of the art you know i mean we have two key tech platforms mm. one is our personalization engine which basically gives a feed which is personalized to the user mm. and that's uh, you know that's i mean i would say that's a state of the art machine learning artificial intelligence system and it's driven up our engagement and cdrs constantly okay. over the years okay and it helps publishers obviously sell their inventory faster so uh, you manage their inventory faster so 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 there are two parts of our mm-hmm. business one is consumer feed correct consumer feed nobody can manage except consumer correct, correct. what our signals you give to the feed mm-hmm. it takes it and the machine gives you the content Correct. which you like Agreed. right so nobody can game that Correct. system right and we only take content signals we don't take a demographic okay. information okay. and we don't sell it to advertisers nice. and so on and so forth mm-hmm. and now on the on the advertising side our ddls you know engine mm-hmm. is which is a, you know which is a self serve engine mm-hmm. where advertisers advertisers can come and put ads choose targeting choose mm-hmm. mobile you know i want users in nagpur mm. who have handsets about 5000 rupees and mm. who consume let's say marathi content mm. you know and i want to target those users so this is the kind of platform we have mm. people can put bits people can you know put you know frequency capping people can you know decide duration of campaign and so on so forth interesting therefore the local play acquisition makes yeah. sense for the ordinary saloon guy absolutely you know, the local maintenance guy absolutely. the plumber to absolutely. advertise is absolutely. that reality going to happen So look, at this point of time I don't see plumber sanitizing yeah. at this point of time yeah. but you're yeah. saying it will happen eventually. So look, I mean today small say, I mean when you talk of India so SMBs, SMBs what do you do when you talk of India you talk of SMBs. Yes. SMBs okay. needs mm. SMB need a way to mm. reach out to a local, local audience. audience. Mm. They can't reach out on TV mm. 
because it's pretty expensive over the roof, right? Over the <laughs> roof, right? And <laughs> Delhi end is where the local consumer is mm. and consuming local language content mm. about his local locality. Mm. So hyper-local business is going to be a big business and local play is a step in that direction. Interesting. And I also want to ask about, you know, a lot of people ask me that, you know, we're building digital businesses. Yeah. You know, the old school guys come and ask me, you digital businesses are not profitable at all. <laughs> you know, you're living through, yeah. I mean, same. I mean, yeah. your story is the same. Yeah. I mean, that you live through investors' yeah. money. Yeah. And, you know, but I keep telling them that this is not a five-year yeah. or three-year yeah. journey. It's yeah. a 15-year yeah. journey. Yeah. And, and, you know, is that true of your business also? So, look, in internet business, mm. I think, you know, two things which play mm. is that, you know, you become a dominant mm. platform for that use case, mm. right? And to become a, and that's when you start making free cash flows Correct. out of your business, Correct. right? Now, to become a dominant business mm. in, your, in your area, you got to invest into infrastructure, people, products, content, Correct. tech. Correct? Yes. And you got to fight a lot of competition. Yes. So it requires, you know, it requires you to go through the journey to emerge as a I won't mention your competition, but Aaron asked you that. And what do you think? How are you going to compete with that? I don't know what did Aaron ask. Why don't you ask asked, How are you going to compete with Glance? <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? But, yeah. no? but look, uh, you know, you want me to answer this yes, question? Yes, please. You should. Okay, yeah. Why not? So, you know. It's a, it's a free world. Yeah, it's a free world. So I think there, I mean, I mean, you know, Daily End is a brand, mm. it's a mm. product which you can download from an app store, yes. people relate to it, mm. hey, I'm using Daily Hunt, mm. right? Uh, to us, a handset is a distribution mechanism. Correct. It is not a, a home or a destination, mm. you know, and, uh, you know, and, and you have interesting business models. And, and, we, and we have, you know, huge personalization, mm. huge amount of content. So, you know, as I understand, mm. and maybe, you know, I mean, you know, Glance is best to answer that, mm. I, as I understand, Mm. Glance is, you know, just powering some content on some handset screens. Okay. So it's more of a, you know, I would say it's a more of an arbitrage opportunity mm. there rather than a destination and a brand. Mm. But, but, but I'm happy people are looking at content and that, that shows out. that there's a yeah. lot of opportunity there still yeah. to be cracked. Yeah. And, and we have a lot of consumers there and you're absolutely right. Yeah. And you have an interesting smartphone revenue share yeah. there, right? Yeah. I mean, you want to mention to your audience why, you know, going to smartphone manufacturers is a good thing yeah. to be bundled into the app, yeah. app into the smartphones. Yeah. So, I, so I think, you know, I think few key things which mm. we have learned from our growth mm. hacks is, you know, while you know, your, if your app is good, mm. you know, it gets discovered through through organic channels. Right? Mm. People go and do word of mouth and, you know, do download from Play Store mm. and so on and so forth. Uh, but, you know, but a lot of people who are buying handsets don't go to a Play Store. They when they yeah. use their phone, they look at the apps which are in there and they start using and they start using it. Right. Mm. And especially when you're targeting a tier two or tier three or tier four mm. guy, you know, you can remove the friction of downloading on the app mm -hmm. and it becomes easier for the guy to discover your app and use you, it. You know, I liked your earlier point also that India is not a Facebook and a Google kind yeah. of economy. I, yeah. I told you, uh, my question yeah. was, when 70% of the yeah. ad spend are going to Google and yeah. Facebook, yeah. how relevant are other yeah. platforms? Yes. And you said, no, most of them, you know, most of the most of the most of their audience is tier one. Yes, correct, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, so they are. I mean, I mean, right now it's about an English audience and a tier one audience, mm -hmm. and 300 big advertisers of the country mm -hmm. giving them a lot of money. Mm -hmm. India, which we know, lies in the broader India, Bharat, yes. Yes. both on the consumer side and the advertising side. Okay, and that's your uh, and and you're saying that there's more scope for that growth. Uh, India will remain. What if the Bharat moves into a tier one kind of category? Will that happen or? Will that ba will Bharat continue to consume local content? You know, I think if you look at all trends, mm. all reports, mm. I think the content consumption in local language is only it's increasing. Only it's not decreasing. Yeah, you can see the number of movies we are yeah, making. Movies, also, the you know, spends on the spends the number of content getting mm. created. You know, every big guy talking mm. about local language in the country. Mm. So and so, I mean, I mean, you are empowering a local yes. business and a local content creator mm. and local user. Mm. Right? That's the key to the Bharat. Amazing. And now you've got data of people. Yeah. Why not news and commerce? Why yeah. don't you mix it together? So, look, I mean, you know, I think commerce requires, you know, mm. you know, huge amount of investment in, you know, customer promise and delivery mm. and infrastructure, right? We did an acquisition a few years back, which was called ByT, mm. which was content commerce. Okay. Right? It was ahead of its time. Mm. Right. And broadly, I mean, we have a lot of commerce guys who are, who are our, you know, mm. advertisers on our platform. Mm. At some point of time, we might, you know, think how to, you know, bundle it and how to make it relevant for the users. On our Shall platform. we dig into the audience questions right away? There are quite a yeah, few. Sure. Okay. Uh, Harish, okay. He says uh, we have a lot of vernac vernacular platforms, mm. right? There, there are many new ones coming up yeah. also. How do you see the ecosystem evolving? 
is there a place for more players to make a huge impact? I sure. mean, you'll acquire them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Look, no, tell me, go on, seriously. So, no, I, so no. I think there is, uh, I think there is, it's, uh, the good thing I would say, the good news is that local language ecosystem is a vibrant ecosystem. Yes. When we started Daily Hearn, mm -hmm. using local language was a non-sexy word. So I think, I think you're fortunate enough that you're asking this question because local language is very vibrant and it's very I sexy. See. It's right? the most vibrant uh, thing. I mean, I think I, you're right. There was a point our yeah. generation yeah. said you have to learn English. <laughs> yeah. Now it's changing. It's right? ch I mean, you obviously learn English for business mm -hmm. reasons, but you know, but for certain reasons, but you have a pride in using your language. Right. Okay. And I, I don't remember when we were talking informally in my office, we speak English. Mm. We speak local language. Yes. We speak what we, you know, yes. what we all speak. You know, how did that organic growth happen for you? I've seen Uber drivers, Ola yeah. drivers, yeah. You know, I've seen the Swiggy guys yeah. use your app. Yeah. And, yeah. and I'm not patronizing you, I've seen it. Yes. How did that happen? I think eventually what works mm. is your product promise. And if your product is relevant to the user, mm. they will talk about it and, you know, people will come back again and again, mm. you know, to use the product. And, and obviously you do growth hacks to reach out to the mm. users, but sustainable growth happens through a great product experience and evolution over a period of time, mm. which we spoke when we were talking obviously. over the last half hour. Obviously. Next question is from Maran and he says, you know, he's, he's a Tamil mm. uh, reader. Mm. He says, you know, what's the most read content by Tamil users, mm. would you know? T Tamil, so Tamil users love politics. Right. They love a lot of local politics. Isn't it the same in India? Uh, well, you know, it's 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 very politics is a famous pastime, mm -hmm. I would say. But you know, it, uh, on our platform, mm -hmm. Tamil has sh people have shown a lot of you know passion about you know uh, about politics and you know yes. content which happens so they around there. A lot of that. They consume you a know, lot of that. When can we see something like business? When I mean, I want yeah. more Indi real Bharat, like you yeah. said, to have entrepreneurs. Yes. Do they like reading entrepreneurial stories? Uh, uh, you know, so I think, you know, what they like, so I'll tell you what they like. They, yeah. One is the politics, which yeah. becomes information and masala yes. at a certain point yeah. of time. I think what we have seen is people like stories which uplift them. Mm. So if you tell them what are 10 ways you can use WhatsApp to, <laughs> to, to kind of, you know, make yourself productive, they like it. Mm. What are the kind of jobs available in Tamil Nadu? Mm. Uh, what, what is the weather mm. in a certain area? So, and I think people are looking at platforms and content which enriches mm -hmm. and uplifts them. Nice. So if you have, but if you're going to talk a story about, you know, so let's say I'll tell you the audience of Daily and doesn't care about Donald Trump whether winning or losing, right? In <laughs> that sense. Seeing or yeah, well, <laughs> they yeah. might be interested in that. But <laughs> <laughs> Good, let's but, go on yeah, the next question. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the, this question, I mean, the user's name is not mentioned, but how can publishers understand this to understand your platform to produce more content for you? So, uh, as I told you, you know, each of our publisher, mm -hmm. they are given an access account which talks about the analytics of okay. what, how the content is performing mm -hmm. on our platform. Mm -hmm. and, and they work closely with our you know, content onboarding and relationship mm -hmm. team to get insights around them. We also, we also tell people you know, what kind of headlines they should be writing, mm -hmm. what is the kind of you know, mm -hmm. genre they should be writing, and so on. So, so you forth. give them those analytics. We, we give them <coughs> sorry. So, the next question is uh, from Karthik, and he says, how can freelancers, bloggers uh, make money and leverage uh, Dalian? I think that's a great question and, and basically that's a, you know, a big goal for us to mm -hmm. kind of you know, explore the supply and get a lot of content creators on our platform. Mm -hmm. So please write to publisher at dalian.in and mm -hmm. you will get a response within four hours. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, it's a simple login where you can publish your articles and see the analytics around. You know, would people also read stories, uh, long form stories in a sense, you know, a budding writer who wants yeah. to make it big in the mainstream yeah. publishing world, yeah. be it Hindi fiction, yeah. you know, or like somebody wants to become yeah. like Chetan Bhagat yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Are there, is there room to publish stories on your platform? So I think there is a room to publish, but I mean, very honestly, that content doesn't live for long. Mm -hmm. Right and and you know you know and and daily end is a feed experience correct where so it's very I contextual. I can't spend money there, right? I individually can't spend money. Yeah, to yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, there. That's today. not there today, right? And maybe you know we could do that mm -hmm. over a period of time, mm -hmm. but you know people write short stories of you know two hundred words and all on our platform, mm -hmm. right? We have, you know, so so we have those kind of content, but mm -hmm. uh, and we are onboarding a lot of those people who are writing stories mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So and the good thing about us is. If we know that Vishal likes stories, then his feed is full of stories, yes, okay. right? Versus mm -hmm. something else. Yeah. Okay, and are you planning to go global? Uh, uh, you know, we'll keep that a secret right now. But right now, the focus is to must be already global. <laughs> so we have, so, so look, we have people coming from you know, I mean, all over the world 
to use us. We are we are now we are the num number with the top ten app in about mm. thirty two countries in the world, right? Okay, it's interesting. So, but but there are possibilities to launch something like this in Mexico, Latin yeah, America. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, mm. absolutely. Right, great, great. Now we'll keep that a secret yeah. till, till, <laughs> till they make an announcement soon. Okay, then there's Karthik R Pandian, who asks, what is the impact of four G? Mm. What could happen once 5G networks mm. start? Yeah. That's one part. Yeah. And I have a question. Yeah. What has been the impact of Geo? Yeah. And how have they influenced your position? Sure. So uh, let me answer, you know, uh, I mean, Karthik's both question, yeah. question first. Mm. Uh, I think the key thing about 4G was, you know, mm. video, you know, big. the video become, yeah. became a big thing. And you see on our platform, mm. we have autoplay videos mm. and a lot of video content. Mm. You know, I think 5G is going to accelerate the adoption of video and VR and AR. You know, in you terms, AR, VR becoming important. Uh, definitely, it'll start. You know, it'll start playing its own part in things mm. like devotion and other areas which are mm. more relevant, right? Or something which is live event and so on and so mm. forth. So you will see more of that, uh, you know, happening on the platform because users would like to get that experience since five G will come. So five G is coming. Five uh, G is a bit away, you know. About so because you come from telecom industry, yeah. And what I mean, uh, people talk about edge computing. Yeah. People talk about AI. Yeah. You know, because there's so much data being generated. Yeah. Now people talk blockchain correct. to verify the news. Correct, correct. Are these relevant uh, in technologies to look at? I know you've done AI and yeah. machine learning yeah. in your yeah. RTB, yeah. but yeah. on the other side. So I think, you know, I mean, uh, honestly, you know, I think 5G is going to be a great boost to the content mm. ecosystem. Because, right. you know, you get more and more towards reality, mm. you know, of where the, con where mm. the things are happening to mm. where you're watching. So, you know, we look forward to it and mm. we, we, are, we are well prepared to mm. ride that wave mm. in that sense. Mm. Uh, on the AI front and so AI we are like I mean AI we are like world class mm. I mean both AI on the content side and on mm. the ad side uh, you know we are world class and we are constantly improving it over a period of time uh, you know so, so you know how do you acquire great people to in the AI side yeah. it's such a difficult you yeah. are competing with all the global yeah. MNCs yeah. in Bangalore yeah. Yeah. how do you pull good ta you know talent Correct. Yeah. so I, uh, again a very good question mm -hmm. and uh, I think you know the credit here goes to you know We've got great tech leaders with mm. Shalinda Sharma, you know, mm. and Bapu and Shalinda Sharma, you know, uh, he and me founded, you know, what's the innovation no, years back, right? Well, <laughs> so, yeah, together, right? Long time mm. back. And I, he's a great leader and, you know, he's built the tech stack himself. Now, you know, as we are moving, uh, you mm. know, as we have scaled up, I think what we are able to offer a guy who wants to work with us is he gets to work on a large data set, mm. which nobody else has. Second thing is he's working on a problem mm which he's seeing the answer to when he's deploying it. So he's mm. not sitting in a corner and working on a small piece mm. uh, of a problem which is being defined by somebody in US or China. Interesting. Right? So he's, he's, he's working here, he's making changes, and he's seeing the impact of the business on the mm. customer's life here and there. And people love it. Are you hiring? We are always hiring. How big is the team now? We have about 200 engineers. Overall, it's 450 people. That's, that's, so you're a product company. Don't we are a product yeah. company, yeah. There's, the next question is from Anshul Agarwal, and he says, can I access voice-based news updates uh, you're building uh, one we i mean we are we are basically audio is a good yeah. medium which is coming up in terms of podcast and yeah. voice-based and yeah. you know at some point of time we'll be launching this feature you're looking at that as a feature absolutely okay but does india like voice i mean in, in sense of typing i think you know voice search is big yeah. right yeah. now i think the key question is whether voice listening or video yeah. listening what will fly Right, and I think in all these things, the key thing is you should just build a feature and let it out. And see, you're see becoming an ecosystem. Yeah, you've got publishers. Yeah, you've got stringers, yeah. news creators. Yes, you've got consumers. Correct, and you've got the technology. Yes. Uh, so, do you look at it as an ecosystem now? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We always look at it as an ecosystem, and a lot of what we do mm -hmm. is is all APIs, mm -hmm. where you know we say that okay, you know, if somebody wants to use these APIs to do something, mm -hmm. he can do. And, and, you know, and our whole business model is also about, you know, mm -hmm. is about revenue sharing, okay. putting the money back in the con in ecosystem. Okay. Right. So, I mean, the top publishers right, mm -hmm. today, are, are they going to spend more money in advertising going soon? Digital advertising? So, digital, go from two to uh, two to ten so digital advertising is on a rise, mm -hmm. right? And from two, it's about $2 billion right mm -hmm. now. It's going to go to about... Seven and a half, eight billion dollar mm. in 2023, and about 12 billion dollar mm. in 2025, and local language advertising is going to be uh, 50 to 60 percent of that advertising, because of the fact I told you about 400 million people mm. who Consumer. are local language will have 2,000 dollars to spend. You know, when you approach an SMB, say yeah. in a local side, say a large, fairly large SMB in the local yeah. side, would it be a different PNL for you when you approach these guys for a sales? Would you do direct sales? Would they have to do self serve? 
Correct. So look, eventually what happens is mm. initially you got to do an assisted sale. Yes. Because nobody wants to do self sale. Mm. And, and once the guy gets comfortable with using your system, the system is designed to be self serve. Mm. Uh, and if you look at on daily and app, today you can be an, you can choose advertising option mm. and start advertising in day one. Mm. Uh, so we have built it for that scale, mm. but we have a call center and but a feed on the street to help the advertiser come. Great, great answer. My last question to you, sure. how does $150 million uh, look like? <laughs> Uh, see, see, money is uh, eventually money is very important, mm. uh, and uh, by the way, this is the cumulative raise we have done so yes, far. Correct. So a yeah. lot of that has been spent correct. already. <laughs> so, uh, and, and you're and constantly raising. <laughs> well, uh, so money is a means to reach your eventual goal and vision mm. to become a you know preferred platform for local language users in the country. Is your life any different from 2007? Uh, it's as exciting as it was. And what inspires you? Uh, what inspires, you know, uh, I think what inspires is is many things, and among one of the things in, which which you know which inspires me is uh, how are you impacting life of millions of Indians, Indians, especially people staying in Bharat, and how are you helping them, you know, improve their lives and touching their lives. That inspires me on a daily basis. Yeah, you know, you know, there's lots of audience questions. Maybe we'll take one more. Uh, Anshul again says, mm. how do you make sure that the stories or news published by various people on the platform are relevant and authentic? So, uh, is that automated? No, so basically there that, that, are that two parts of it, mm -hmm. right? One is whether it's authentic or not. Mm. So any, we don't let any Tom, Dick and Harry to put content on our Obviously. platform, right? So we go through an onboarding process mm. of getting people, mm. so, which means it is broadly authentic. Mm. Now in terms of relevant, the algorithm spits out these feeds to the users. And the user, I mean, there's a huge mathematics and, you know, a lot of algorithm goes into it. And, you know, if users react to it and users use it, it's more relevant. If it's not, it decays mm -hmm. and goes out of the feed. Great, Viru. And Viru, you're a very practical guy. You're one of the first few CEOs who are saying, I don't, I don't care about reading. I rather do work. I like to do something, right? <laughs> Is that because of your childhood? You're a phys physics grad, right? Uh, I'm, engineer. I'm an engineer. engineer. I'm an engineer. My father is a physics professor. Yeah. So what really inspired you? Let me ask you. I want to pick your brains a little bit. Did anybody influence you to become an entrepreneur? Um, not really. I mean, you know, I think we, the way the life, uh, as it happened, mm. uh, after doing my master's in IIT, I landed up mm. in a telecom company, which yes. was a startup, BPL Mobile. Mm. And then you they know, were huge back yeah, but they were startup when I joined. Yeah. I mean, on a single yeah. floor, you will have a billing system and yeah. people coming with cash and saying, I want a mobile phone. And then you know, move to you know, seventh employer, one yes. mobile, joining Airtel in early days. So eventually, have been building products it's and scale. creating new businesses. Really scale, yeah. So that's a, so then think of entrepreneurship as entrepreneurship, yeah. but say, hey, let's build out some interesting. So, so when you my last question, when yeah. you became an entrepreneur, yeah. your parents were okay with it? Uh, not at all. <laughs> so are they okay with it now? Uh, they are. Nice. Now that's what it means yeah. to have 150 million dollars raised, but it means a lot of hard work, yeah. right? No heartbreak. Uh, no, not at all. That's a great answer. Yeah. Guys, thank you for joining us. Viru, what an inspiration. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Vishal. Thank you for having Bye, me. Bye, guys. Bye.